Hi, let's find the three values of our x, okay? So to do that, 5 multiplied by 5 will give us 25. So we have 25 divided by 5 multiplied by 5 will give us x squared. Sorry, x multiplied by x will give us x squared is equal to x divided by 5. Now let's do a cross multiplication. When we do that, we have um, x squared multiplied by x will give us x to the power of 3 is equal to 25 times 5 will give us 125. So this implies that x to the power of 3 is equal to 5 to the power of 3. Now by me looking at this, you can see that the first value of our x is 5. But if we should just equate it that way, we won't be able to get the remaining two values. So in order to get the remaining two values, we are going to apply this method, okay? So this implies that x to the power of 3, this will cross to become minus 5 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now we are going to apply our algebra identity, which states that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay, now in this case, our a is equal to x, while our b is equal to 5. So we are going to substitute these values into this to rewrite this in this form. Okay, now to do that, we have uh, to write this, it means that this is equal to what? a minus b, that is x minus 5. So we have x minus 5 multiplied by multiplied by a squared is x squared, right? x squared plus ab, that is plus x times 5, which is what? 5x plus b squared, that is 5 squared. And everything is equal to 0. Now, we have that this bracket multiplied by this bracket is equal to 0. That simply means that this is equal to 0, Why this is also equal to 0. So we can say that x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 5x. Now, plus, um, 5 squared will give us 25 is equal to 0. So from here, you can see that our first value of x is equal to 0. This minus 5 will cross to become plus 5. So we have found the first value of our x. Now, we are going to use the quadratic equation formula to find the value of x for this side. And that is because um, we cannot find this using factorization method. Okay, So to do that, we are going to use the, the formula which states that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Okay, so if we do that, we can say in this particular equation now, our a is equal to the coefficient of x squared, which is 1, our b is the coefficient of x, which is 5, while our c is our constant, which is 25. So we are going to substitute this into this equation to get the value of our x. So this implies that x is equal to minus b, that is minus 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is 5 squared, that is 25, right? Minus 4ac, um, 4 times a, which is 4, right? Yes, because our a is 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times c, which is 25, is 100. Divided by 2a. That is 2 times 1, which is still 2. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that right now so that you will not forget. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And also... Always remember that I upload two videos daily, so always ch uh, check to see what I uploaded every single day, okay? Thank you. So here we have that our x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of minus 75 divided by 2. Permit me to clean here so that I can use this space. Okay, so this is what we have now, that x is equal to 
minus 5 plus or minus. Now, seven, minus 75 can be written as 25 multiplied by 3, right? 25 multiplied by 3, which will give us 75. Then we have minus here. That is multiplied by minus 1, okay? Divided by 2. So we have that x is equal to minus 5 plus or minus. Now, square root of 25 will give us 5. Then we have square root of 3. And square root of minus 1 will give us minus. We give us i, sorry. Now, everything divided by 2. So when you look at this, notice that we have minus, uh, we have 5 and 5. So let's factorize that. Now, minus 5 divided by 5, we give us minus 1 plus or minus 5 divided by 5, we give us 1. So we cannot write 1 root 3i. So we just write root 3i divided by 2. Now, that simply implies that our x2 is equal to 5 brackets minus 1 plus square root of 3i, okay? Everything divided by 2, while our x3 is equal to 5 brackets minus 1 minus root 3i, everything divided by 2. And there you have it, the three values of our x. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.